Hi there and welcome to this introduction video of Creative Hub. Creative Hub is our new product that is a project management solution for Unreal Engine and the beauty about it is that it's zero configuration. So just as with all the rest of our products, a Creative Hub is web-based technology, meaning, it, meaning that I can access it from a browser like I'm doing here. Uh, however, it's not a cloud solution, but it is cloud ready. So in this demo, I'll be using our instance of Creative Hub that's hosted in our private cloud and can be accessed from multiple different locations. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I'm going to log into Creative Hub via the browser and just quickly go over the UI here. On the left, we have our folder structure. In the center, we'll see all of our projects. Currently, it's empty. We're going to create a project and upload it to Creative Hub in a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, inside Unreal, I have my starter project here. Um, and let's just go ahead and create a new level. And let's go ahead and save this. So here I have my first project, um, everything's saved in, and I can go ahead and upload this to Creative Hub. So I'm going to go ahead and click New, Upload Project, and paste in my project path here. So this is my project called Creative Hub Intro. It's selected over there, and I'll just select this folder to upload it to Creative Hub. I'll give it a name. Let's make this a little bit more readable, and click Upload. This is now creating the project for us inside Creative Hub. Once it's uh, uh, finished uploading, it'll open up the project for us, and this is the project view. Just to go over the UI, on the left here we see all the pending changes. Uh, that are changes that haven't been committed to Creative Hub yet. Uh, here we see all of our commits. So right now I just have my initial commit. I can see that it was created by myself. And here we can see the files that were included inside this commit. And you can see it just added all our default uh, files or the files that were initially in our project when we uploaded it for the first time. So let's go ahead and make a change to our level over here. Uh, let's just place a text actor. Yep. Place it in our level over there. And let's add a control text. And let's create a material as well. And let's just give it a little uh, parameter over here. Save this out. And just do a file sample. So now I want to uh, push these changes to Creative Hub. There's two ways we can do this. We can either go to uh, Creative Hub and we see uh, the changes that we've made uh, to our project. So you can see that a mod the main map was modified and we have a new uh, asset added, uh, my material. And then I can put in my changes, added a text and material and commit this change. But I'm actually not going to do it this way. I want to do this directly from Unreal. So I'm going to set up our uh, revision control. So all I need to do in Unreal 5 is select revision control, connect to a revision control. From the drop down, select Creative Hub. And it already picks up all the details for us. Like I said at the beginning of this video, Creative Hub is zero configuration. It is the e easiest tool currently on the market that allows you to manage your Unreal projects without having to do any complicated setup. So I had, uh, I'm just going to accept these changes. And once that's set up, I can go ahead and submit content. It's picked up my changes and I can say here, add it all. text and material acts. I'll go ahead and submit that. And now we can see inside um, Creative Hub, our commit has been added there and we see the files that were added in this, uh, in this commit. At any time if I want to, I can double click back to go to my initial commit. Okay, so if I now go into Unreal, we can see that um, 
our texture there has disappeared and I have to reload the uh, level to see uh, the changes reflected inside the level. Um, we get a little notification that we're not on the latest, uh, so I can just go ahead and sync this project to the latest by clicking on this commit. But this allows us to go back in time and, uh, you know, if we made a change to our project that we want to undo or anything like that, we have full revision control built into Creative Hub. Okay. So now that you've seen how it works on the designer point of view, I can go to another machine over here. I'll go ahead and open up Creative Hub. I'm at the same address here. I'm logged in. Uh, let's log in here as a different user. And I now want to grab this project. All I need to do is click on the download icon. Let's save this inside my folder. This is going to be our Creative Hub intro. I'll hit clone and that's done that. So now I can just press the little icon here and it's going to open up the project for us. Okay, so I can go ahead and open this in Unreal and make the uh, changes that I need to. It'll take a second to launch, but we'll let that do in the background while we continue. Okay, the last thing I want to show is the, how beautifully Creative Hub integrates into Ariza Studio. So I'm going to go to our settings here, go to the renders, and currently this is set up to use the projects folder, which is our old way of working, which is a shared network drive, which caused a lot of different problems. Um, but we can now select Creative Hub. I've put in here my uh, Creative Hub details and my username, and I'll save the settings. Now if we quickly log in again, and I'll go to Studio, let's create a new show. Let's call this Okay. And if I now go to import, show template browser, my Unreal Engine uh, option now reflects the folders uh, inside Creative Hub. And now we can double click to import our level into Reza Studio. And we've added this to our playlist. We can see we have the text field uh, exposed that we did in our project. So that's how you can use Creative Hub to manage your workflow, your design process uh, using Unreal Engine uh, in together with Ariza Studio and allow teams to collaborate together very easily uh, without any additional configuration or setup or maintenance needed.